Welcome back fam, long time no see. Keep in mind, when you see this video, there are just two and a half days left to enter to win this 2008 LMM Duramax. Every $15 you spend on LMP gear gets you another entry to win. Information in the description below. Let's get into the video. Another little look here at the first gen project. Devin's been working away on this thing for us, and I think uh, our next step for this truck is going to be head studs and valve springs. And then after that, transmission. Back in Devin's, of course. That's where we've been doing all the content lately. All day, every day. Oh, yeah. He's going to do a small rundown on this Denali HD. Things freaking bad. So Devin, what's the deal with this truck? What's uh, done to it? Farm truck. Um, farm truck. <laughs> I don't think that's what they're thinking when they no, see it. No, probably not. Best, but really, it is a farm truck. Farm yeah. lights. So yeah. now this is the same kit. So this truck was the mock-up uh, truck for like your uh, three-inch adventure series. Okay. And because BDS called my old boss and he said, "Hey, I need a mock-up truck uh, for this adventure series." So. They're like, you want a free kit? I'm like, yeah, sure, you know. So we <laughs> took it up to BDS, and then they put on the 3-inch Adventure Series, and then they put on the back, too, um, just so they can get their pictures and everything. And then I told them to take it off of the back to make it so it still stays Leveled stopped. out. Yep. Yeah. And had still had the Denali ride. But then we had, we had these wheels on another truck, and then we had the adapters on another one of our dualies. And, um... We sent them out, had the 22.5s turned down to 22s in the center, so I had it machined, CNC'd. And then um, I just had some radars that we bought brand new. Put that all the way around, wrapped it around, and it looks good. Um, I took the valence off of the front, just so it makes it look a lot clearer. Yeah, higher. it looks like it gives it more yeah, stance, yeah, too. Yeah, it gives it a lot more higher stance, it looks like. And I love it, but, I mean, it's a 15. It's nothing, not like a 15 and a half like 15 and a half have the newer mirrors like yours yeah but those mirrors are nice yeah but. i didn't know once i got those mirrors from boost auto parts i didn't know the mirrors they made near mirrors that nice that mounted up to that truck and i didn't realize how nice they actually were i just thought is it just a mirror with chrome caps on it and i got the mirror and i'm like all oh, the adjustments heated it's got yeah. the led lights and turn sensors in them in. Oh, yeah. oh yeah everything front rear the switchbacks in them i'm like holy oh, smokes yeah. yeah no i got all of um the headlight, bulbs, LEDs, projectors, and everything. Uh, the fog lights, LEDs. I got all that from DMV. And then um, I got all recon. Um, got the bed lights, third brake light, tail lights. And then I did a full five inch exhaust on it. Um, Corey Wallace, PPEI tuner. Um, deleted the truck and nothing really fancy, but no tranny work done, but it still, it moves. It has no problem pulling it. It's all blacked out. The windshield's actually, we're gonna do the windshield even darker because right now there's like like a 30 on it. Yeah. We're gonna uh, probably take that off, do a 15 and then five on top and bottom and like leave like a center open. I don't know. We I did that. Know. That was actually done on one of my, my first 12. Oh, albums. was it? Yeah. My buddy did it to his uh, dually and uh, he has an F-250 that literally looked exactly like this but it was a leveling kit and he, instead of having more aggressive tire uh we did a semi uh 37 tire on it and it they're steer tires and they're awesome and he lives over here but he he drove he rode in this thing he's like man this thing rides like way better than my ford does. like oh yeah i thought his ford looked cool but he likes this better he sold his ford and he now he said he wants to buy duramax yeah, I mean, it, it's a sweet looking truck. I was meaning to make a video on this last time I was up here and then I just never got around to it, but yeah, I thought, I'm like, these people would love to see this oh, thing because it's just, yeah, it's just but, cool looking, especially since we are doing Duramax content for a little while yeah. here. I thought, I thought it'd be kind of cool to tie this into it. family. Yeah. Yeah, no, I took, so on the, on the Duramax's amp makes their step bars and everything for the Duramax's. They're, they sit down further because yeah. of the diff tanks. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you take like a 2500 gasser, they'll bolt right up to this because it's the same body. So I just put the amp research ones 
for a, a gasser on here. So it they hide up in, yeah. I was going to say they hide a lot nicer. Because yep. my dad and I, we were looking at some Denali's on a lot. And he's like, the stupid def tanks are so big oh, yeah. and like obvious right there. In the in the step bars stick out like right here. <laughs> yep. So they don't hide at all. I mean, you can clearly see they're, you know, up right there. But yeah, I mean, it's a sweet truck. Just wanted to show them and uh, yeah. looks well, freaking cool. It gets down. It definitely... It breaks the tires loose like no problem. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll have to get a video of all of them doing burnout. Yeah, yeah. Maybe on maybe on a little sunnier day, a little nicer right. day. <laughs> Here she is, Reagan Marshall. Subscribe to her YouTube channel. She wants followers. So we got her truck in the shop now. And Devin, do you ever stop lifting trucks and working under the hood of trucks or no? When I sleep. Yeah, when you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, if you were to talk to my wife, she would tell you like, oh, like. My Facebook, YouTube, all I'm looking at is trucks every day. <laughs> it's like, either work or working on trucks or... Yeah. She's like, why don't you spend time with your family? <laughs> but oh, there's trucks that trucks are lifted. cool, man. Like, <laughs> I don't know. So anyways, we're gonna... Well, when I say we, I mean Devin's gonna be installing a five-face lift kit. We are gonna revive the Dodge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so this thing, it almost fits. And Devin was telling me how you could run this setup on this truck and daily drive it and actually not really have many problems with rubbing. Yeah, if you put adjustable ball joints in it. <laughs> he said adjustable ball joints. Would you still put the upper and lower control arms on or no? Like the extended ones that'll push that. Because if you look at the gap here when you stand here, there's a lot more room in front of yeah, that there. tire than behind it because of that leveling kit with it. You know what I'm saying? I would only put them on if you're going to go up another inch. That's the only way. Yeah. But right now I wouldn't. Like with that little two inch block, I wouldn't. If you're going to hit here, where are you hitting here? You would hit there. Yep. I got a hammer. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, guys, he, do, he doesn't really do that kind of stuff. Oh, for real? No, no. Some of these guys think because you're because you're goofy in the shop that you don't know what you're doing. I'm like, uh, this okay. is just his personality, guys. Right? Take everything way too serious. <laughs> when you pulled out the chainsaw, somebody's like, what is he doing with the chainsaw? I'm like, dude, he's not actually going to cut the fenders off. But yeah, so he's going to be doing the five inch zone lift on this thing. We should get a sponsorship from zone at this point. That'd be awesome. <laughs> You know how many, if we got a sponsorship from Zone, we would be doing pretty good. Yeah. We could lift we a use lot it more all the time. We use a lot of Zone stuff. My Longhorns lift on Zone. My dad's is on a Zone kit. This is going to be on a Zone kit. My Duramax is on a Zone kit. We zone? Could use zone, if you zone, see this zone. video. Feeman Malachi at gmail.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If anybody from Zone or anybody that knows somebody that works at Zone, Our let them know. Yes, you know. Yeah. I know a couple guys are there. Um, yeah, Tyler, his name's Tyler, he works there. I'm not going to say no last name because I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> he's, he's cool. He's hooked me up a couple times. He does an alright job. <laughs> he, he does okay. <laughs> you know. So yeah, we're going to get to installing this and uh, can't wait to see the end result. So what did we find out? Well, the truck's lifted. It went pretty smooth. <laughs> so so what, what's actually going on with this truck, Devin? Well... You guys ordered a five inch lift, am I correct? <laughs> I ordered it somehow. Okay, okay, you ordered a five inch lift. Uh, I was putting together the front four link, the bushings and everything, and I kneeled down to put them together, and I looked, I was trying to see like the exhaust to see if it was gonna hit or anything, and I noticed there's already blocks on the rear of this. I was like, oh, Okay, so I measured that block to the lift block that we are getting to put on. It's the same height that we're putting <laughs> on. So, yeah, your truck's lifted and you didn't even know it. Yeah, so I was, I, I was telling Devin, I'm like, I was wondering how it cleared these so well without hardly rubbing until you like almost fully locked it. But uh, apparently it's because it's already lifted. Now it's, it doesn't look like it's an out of the box lift, right? It looks more like it's kind of pieced together. Yeah, it's pieced together, like the back, different blocks and everything. The front, um, I don't know if they did like, because um, you can buy a leveling coil that shows you like a one inch coil that's bigger. And then they put that two inch block on the front uh, to stack on top of the coil. So, I mean, that gives you a little there, but really, you need those other arms because it's taking all that uh, core link and maxing it out. Like really, on a Dodge front end, 
you should only get four inches max before you max out the upper arms. Okay. I know this because I had a Jeep thing, so <laughs> I had a Jeep guy for a while. So yeah, it looks like for this truck, all we gotta do is get the front upper and lower control arms to extend them. But yeah. other than that, yeah. And yeah, it's already good to go. You, you wanna tell people what those arms will do? Like you oh, can yeah. show them and everything. Oh yeah, here, can tell the here we'll show them. Yeah. yeah. You can actually show them the gap yeah. and yeah. the difference. Yes. So these upper and lower control arms, just like a nasty red, I didn't think anything of it, but what those will actually do for this truck is it's they're two inches longer and they push this front axle just a little bit further forward because when you lift the front end up, it just basically hugs that axle further back towards the fender, but when it pushes it back out. Yeah, it's definitely like. It's got like a three and a half inch gap there. Yeah, and then and it's got at least four and a half there or five. It's almost six, five and a half. <laughs> yeah. So it's gonna take that front wheel and it's gonna push it forward. Turns out Reagan's truck is already lifted. Not really an out of the box type of kit, but somebody did put a bigger uh, coil up front with a spacer in a five inch block in the rear. So that truck really doesn't need another kit. Now we are gonna buy some upper and lower control arms to push that front axle just a couple more inches so that it's perfectly centered so she can clear those tires perfectly, but they almost fully clear as it is. And uh, her truck looks awesome. I'm, I'm honestly kind of stoked because I love to look at that. And also because we're gonna be picking up another dually build because I wanna freaking build another dually. And uh, we're just gonna put that kit on that truck. Guys, that is gonna put a wrap on this video. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to enter this 2008 LMM Duramax giveaway, which ends in three days. You have three days until the last day to enter. Do not miss out. Every $15 you spend is another entry to win. Information is in the description below. Leave a fat thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.